Hello there, everybody. Welcome to Tuesday. Welcome to Tuesday, and welcome to another fun fall video. This one, like, no. strays a little into the next season that I won't name because I don't even want to think about it yet. But you do buy these pieces typically in fall. Yes, you buy in them now, mm -hmm. and you keep them. Or you use them now because we all know that some fall days get freezing. Half the time, Negative. Halloween around here is, like, freezing Negative 100,000 degrees. Which always sucks. Like, last year, I oh, was, was, like... Cold it was and like, rainy. It was, it was like 28. Like it was so cold. It was very bad. But this is going to be top 10 Bolo jackets and coats brands. You may have heard of some of these. You may have not heard of some of these. And they vary in like styles. Price. And, yeah, and price. <laughs> and um, like. Material. Like use is what I'm looking for. Like some are utility. Some are blazers. Some, some are like puffers. It's very like. They have different environments in yeah. which you would wear them. Yes, they're very, mm -hmm. so they're not like one it's a common theme. Yes, exactly. So, no, the common theme is they keep you warm. <laughs> so, we may have made a boo boo yet <laughs> on Saturday. <laughs> Sorry. Because we were focusing so much on making sure that we could thank you guys and make sure we got all of the sales down from Instagram and email and everything. We forgot to We completely closet. forgot about doing the closet shout out. Surprisingly, I didn't see too many comments saying it, but I noticed like as soon as I posted it, I was like, crap. I'm so sorry. So, so we're sorry. sorry that we forgot to do that and we are going to do one today. Yes. And to use the comments <laughs> from what we would have mm -hmm. for Saturday. So last week's was Saturday. Yes, so that is going to be at the end of this video. So look <gasps> forward to that. And also, you can leave comments on this video or last What Sold Saturday, mm -hmm. and we're going to combine them, and we're going to do next week's shout-out from those two videos. Yes. So actually... That'll be how we make up for it. You can actually have two entrants. If you, if you do it on this video sorry. and last video, your name will be in like the bucket twice. Yes. So we're so sorry for that. I know that we just started it and how did we already mess it up? In our defense, that was a very long What's Whole Saturday. I know, and we were so, so stressed we totally on making it. sure. And we were like in a new environment that we never filmed My in. parents' Wi-Fi is also terrible. Yeah, so. I don't know. We were just, and we had a lot to do that day. Lots of excuses. Sorry. But anyways, we're sorry that we didn't do that. It will happen today. Yes, yeah, so look mm -hmm. forward to that. So, let's jump in to the 10 Bolo coats and jackets. And the first one is a brand called Soya and Kayo. So Soya and Kayo uses a lot of wools and cashmeres and camel. So it is the more like wool style coats, the ones mm -hmm. that are like knee length or Trendy thigh length. Yes, it is the more like kind of professional or ma mature style mm -hmm. to them. They don't like use a ton of like fun colors or fun prints or whatever. It's a lot of neutrals. Yeah, lots mm -hmm. of grays, lots of tans. Mm -hmm. um, it's like thick wool most of the time. And it is sold at like Saks and Bloomies and Nordstrom. So of course it's crazy, crazy expensive. It can range from like 250 to 800 retail. And that's kind of like an average range. It can probably go higher up than that even. Mm -hmm. um, I have had Soya and Kayo. You had one of the bins one time. Twice, yes. Mm -hmm. So Soya and Kayo, I mean, I know you're seeing like pictures in the brand right here. The label to me doesn't look expensive. It looks like TJ Maxx. Yeah. For some reason. I, yeah. I, I don't. I don't know why it's specifically TJ Maxx. It's that little green tent. Yeah. It doesn't for look expensive. The font that they use and just the style of the label. I was like, oh, what's this? And then I googled it and I was like, are you kidding? Me? I saw that it was made in Canada, and you know, like mm -hmm. a good Canadian jacket. Like Canadi they know how to do their. They're jackets. Canadians, Danica, yeah. your people. Yeah, they know how to make coats. <laughs> So, yeah, um, they are extremely expensive, mm -hmm. and no matter what they're made of. some I think some are even cotton, and those are expensive, too. Very. But they do only make women's styles, and like I said, I've found it twice. I found it in the bins, and mm -hmm. I actually sent mine to the Real Real because they do take it, but I'm sure it'll do pretty good on Posh, too. It's so expensive mm -hmm. that it would do great, Ryan. I don't think it's ever had it. I've never had one before. No, but I never they're super nice. They, they yeah no the ones that you've had they feel very substantial yes which is good for a winter coat a high quality thick wool very yes. warm perfect for and it's like a style for fall too mm -hmm. so it's one of those very like both season kind of coats mm -hmm. yeah. okay so our next brand number two is a Montclair 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 I love how their logo is a chicken yes. I think that's so fun <laughs> so their main focus is down 
sailed coats and they are most always puffer. Yes. They do kind of like stray into like streetwear. So they do like t-shirts and sweatshirts and like sweaters and that kind of thing. But we're talking about the puffers. Yeah. Expensive. Montclair's definitely known for their puffers, though they stray into whatever, like polos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they make like regular clothing that you can wear all year round. Mm -hmm. But I think most people know Montclair for like the big puffy jackets. And they're interesting because they don't just do like your regular like waist high puffer. They do like, oh, they had a collection a few years ago where they did like full on like head to toe like puffer dresses. Yeah. It was really interesting. It almost looked like a sleeping bag that you're walking <gasps> in. It is a sleeping bag. Yeah. Oh, shout out to Norma Kamali. <laughs> um, so they do make men's and women's and I'm not mistaken when I say they make children's coats. Yes. I don't know why any kid would need like a $900 <laughs> down coat. Yeah. Because they grow so fast and kids yeah. spill on things. And I think for the for the like non-coat stuff, it's mostly men's actually. Yeah. Like it's a lot of polos and sweatshirts that I think and, are men's. And, like, There's obviously some women's, mm -hmm. but that's mostly men's. But then the puffers are like 50-50. They make a ton for both. Yes. Um, They do hold their retail value oh my gosh, yes. very, very, very well. So you yeah. spend $1,000, you can most likely sell it for almost next to that. Like $800. Eight, dollars $900. Yeah. Very expensive. Um, They're sold at your typical high-end apartment stores, Nordstrom, Bloomies, Saks. Uh, very expensive. Very, very, very expensive. They retail from about 1000 to $2,500. Yeah. Again, like, there's oh, probably, your coat. It's probably some that go over if they had, like, fur detailing or whatever. Oh, And yeah. there may be some mm -hmm. that are, like, lower if it was, like, say, a, a bomber. Case. Yeah. <laughs> or, like, a bomber-style mm -hmm. puffer or something. I'm sure those are lower. But they retail so high. They're so, so they're so expensive. So expensive. Um, so our experience with them, I have Take once away. had one and actually, I think that's still my highest sale I've ever made. Besides like I've done one or two consignments for somebody that mm -hmm. were really high end purses. But for my own personal resale, I believe that is my highest sale ever. I sold a Montclair jacket for, was it $5.99 or $4.99? $5.99. I thought it was right around it got, $5.50. It got authenticated. So it was $5.99. It was over $5.99. I think bucks. it was $5.99 she offered me and I was like, yes. You said it. I had it priced at like eight hundred, and it retailed at like nine hundred. But you found it at a thrift store. Yeah, for it was like under twenty dollars. Ten dollars. Yeah, I was like, wasn't it nine ninety nine? If I'm not mistaken, <laughs> it was, which is insane. It was like brand new. It was so authentic, like every single thing checked out perfectly. It was and wild. I actually just learned this recently. Fun fact about Montclair: you can email them pictures of your jacket, and they'll tell you if it's real. We love when they do that. They have we a love whole the brands that entire try to take page. the out of it. Yeah, they have I a whole that. entire page designated to like authenticating your Montclair. It has step by step how to. If you don't know still, Montclair. you can literally fill out a contact us form with like you can enter all the codes it has. It's crazy. They which is how honestly some of these brands that retail this high should be doing it because people get screwed out of a lot of money. Louie, where are you at though? I know. So She's that's left the chat. That's awesome, but I just found that out like two weeks ago. I've never found it. I envy it and I dream about it constantly. <laughs> yes. But I have never had one. That is you're in the money if you find a Oh. Here. And See, it's fast and too. I will say a note speaking generally, coats are one of the things that we tend to pay up for because obviously they resell higher, so they resell for a lot more. Most of the time, this is, you know, speak generally, but like if that one clear coat was 50 bucks, I would have still told you to buy it. If you can like oh, have yeah. a no doubt in your mind that it's real. Yeah. Um, I didn't say I this in the beginning, which I don't know why, but coats and jackets are actually what I consider to be my favorite. That's the first place like, to go my to. My favorite store. thing to resell. <laughs> and they're available. They're so bougie. If you find a good mm -hmm. one, they re like if you find a good brand like Rag and Bone or something, it retails so high. Rag and Bone leather jackets are like a thousand. Coats and jackets so hold expensive. their value so much better than like mm -hmm. t-shirts and blouses. It's just like coats mm -hmm. and jackets are my favorite thing to pick up by far. Yes, yes, you need to be able to store them. It's so worth it. They're worth paying up for. Yes, love coats. And but jackets. I feel like our thrift stores usually don't ever price them like crazy. No, like, obviously, well, like, you know, you get the North Faces that are, you know, 35, bucks. 40 bucks, yeah. but it's like, we don't, we don't, we don't need those. <laughs> we, don't, yeah. we don't need to buy it. Yeah, yeah, but a lot of the, like, coat brands, like, a lot of the ones on this list, like, they only make coats. So the stores don't really know about them because they, like, these, like, a you lot know, of these brands don't do other categories. Like, so. obviously, if you had a Louis Vuitton coat, well, yeah, they'd be or like, coach oh, or something, but, like, but, you know, if you had a Sony and Kyo, they'd be yeah. like, 10 bucks. Okay, that was a long tangent. Anyway. Anyways, on to number three, now that we spent 40 minutes on number two. 
Cinzia Roca. Cinzia Roca. So Cin I hope I'm saying that right. So Cinzia or Cin Cinzia Roca um, uses, it's a lot like Soya and Kayo in style. She mm -hmm. uses a lot of wool, she uses a lot of camel, and she uses a lot of cashmere. It's a lot of tans, it's a lot of grays, and it's very professional, yes, very mature, and most often it's more like mature older people that are mm -hmm. drawn to her brand. It is so so expensive. My grandma wants a Cinzi Roca cover yes. that's a thousand dollars. She does. <laughs> Marilyn. So expensive. It's sold at Saks, Nordstrom, and Neiman Marcus, mm -hmm. all those high-end stores, and they do only make women's, um, but mm -hmm. her coats retail from like a thousand to two thousand five hundred. Just let that sink oh in. Oh my god. Let that sink in. Whereas like Soya and Kaya was like two fifty to eight hundred. This this I woman says like, thousand. To I feel like two fifty is probably like the most I would ever spend on like, on, like a, a luxury nice coat. coat. Yeah. I got I got my coat for thirty dollars on Poshmark. Oh my gosh! But her coats are so expensive. Again, the real real takes her. Mm -hmm. They take Montclair, of course, too. They take all these, um, but. You, I'm sure, could sell them for a ton as well. I have once had a Cinzia Roca coat. <laughs> I found a Cinzia Roca. Um, and I was I, there when you found yours. I sent it in. That was in the bins. Yeah. It was in the bins. Oh. And I sent it. It was so nice. I sent it into the real real and I priced Ooh, it at like gee. four or $500. I remember the drama in Conflama of the coat was in one bin and the belt was in another. Yeah. So you found the coat oh. and we're like, we gotta find the belt. What a good day. We did. It was great. Good day. Oh, we love it. <laughs> but yeah, it, it holds its value pretty well. Mm -hmm. Not as good as like Montclair, but it still holds its value. Yes. Okay, so number four on our list is Arcteryx. Arcteryx is mainly outdoors wear, so it's like if you're going to go hiking in the mountains or if you like really need to wear it in the winter, you'd wear an Arcteryx versus like a wool. Cynthia Roca. They do a lot of nylons. They do a lot of wools. They have a lot of puffers. Um, they have like a very similar look to like Patagonia North Face. Kind of yeah, like in more that, close to North Face, I yeah, say. in that kind of realm. Um, like I said earlier, a lot of outdoors, a lot of hiking. They keep you very warm. Their logo is a dead little lizard. Yeah, that's Which, the one that we. I feel like recently we mentioned, I feel like we've it a mentioned few times. that it's never officially been in a bobo. So no, here, here she comes. Um, but it's the one it's that like we always ball. talk about <laughs> with like a lizard skeleton that's going like. He's like, I think like his it looks like a fossil. Yeah, it looks like a fossil when they pull those little like lizard things yeah, out of the dirt. It must be. Um, they're sold at a lot of like really higher end outdoor stores, places like REI, Nordstrom. Um, they have a price point of about two fifty to a thousand. Yeah. So like the and they do make more like fleecy kind of things, kind of like a cinchilla yeah. situation, and then they can make like you survive in like negative 30 degree weather in them mm -hmm. so they are like you know they make like base layer stuff which is like not that expensive and then the coats like higher quality but like the more down they put in it yeah i feel like it leans more towards the like 250 to, mm -hmm. it's more like 250 to 500 but it does reach up to that some of those like range not specialty but like the thicker like, like really real, intense. yeah, like yeah, mountain expedition end. coats. Um, I have once had Arcteryx, and unfortunately, I had to get rid of it because you all busted. of the zippers were broken. <laughs> like every single one. <laughs> it was a binge find, and it like, was it was whoa. just one of the like nylon ones, so it leaned more towards the two fifty range. And so I was like, mm, it's not really worth fixing, and it also had like stains. I just like it was not worth the recovery, yeah. so I didn't. I've had Arcteryx a couple of times. I've had a few of the base layer pieces that sell pretty well. And then I've had um, a couple of the fleece, yeah, the fleece jackets that yeah. do pretty well. And then yeah, of course, Arcturus has like t-shirts, polos. And yeah, those are mean, nowhere near two fifty. No. We're kind of talking about the jackets. We're of talking course, about the coats. Yeah, but that's the important part. Yeah, <laughs> number five is one that may have been on a bolo like back when it was just me on the uh, channel. I feel like it probably was. I think so because I, I found it correctly. once way back, but I'll mm -hmm. get to that later. But it is called Smith, S-M-Y-T-H-E, and they are so blazer heavy. It's almost like Very a Veronica sure Beard situation it. with, honestly, with the styles, the type of product, mm -hmm. and the price range is very Veronica Beard similar. Mm -hmm. They use a lot of wool and a lot of linen and a lot of cotton because that's like Typical blazer material. Yeah, what people use for blazers. Mm -hmm. um, they do have some like faux furs and coats mm -hmm. and vests, but really they're known for the blazers. The chunk of it is blazers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of like double breasted style and professional. Mm -hmm. There are now some prints, and it does seem like they're incorporating trendier looks a little bit more frequently now. Yeah. Whereas, it used to be very kind of strictly like black 
and mm -hmm. like brown. It's very like new age you wear to the office. Yeah. Like not your like mom's suit. Like it's a little more tailored, a little more fitted. They're yeah. little, they look a little bit more like modern. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe which honestly maybe because blazers are coming in as more of like a fashion piece, they're like, mm -hmm. oh, let's capitalize on well, that. Well we were <laughs> we were Googling them and they make a ton of like they look like 90s references almost. Like, there was one that looked like Cher from Clueless's little yeah, outfit. Yeah, and there's, like, florals. Yeah, and more, like, fun-colored mm -hmm. plaids and stuff. That you wear to, like, an Instagram picture. Yeah. Versus The Office. And, of course, so they're sold on, like, Saks and Nordstrom and Neiman's. But now that they have these more fun ones, mm -hmm. they are on Revolve as well. Love Revolve. And these blazers retail at about, like, 300 to 700-ish type range. Mm -hmm. I have one time, like I said, had Smith, and it was just a black blazer with, like, a little bit of, like, ruching on the side. It was actually really cute, though. I think I had it listed for a while, but because it was more of a, like, eh, style, mm -hmm. it did get some likes, but it didn't do super hot, so I sent it into the real real, and they did price it pretty well. So Didn't they price it, like, it was, like, two twenty five. Yeah, it was, like, two somewhere. If I'm somewhere. not mistaken. And then Ryan's never had it. No. So, <laughs> so, I think if you do find, like, a cuter, trendy, or whatever, you could do they really well in Posh. Mm -hmm. But if you find maybe an older style one, you can always consider using the real You throw real. that in a real real box, yeah. and you send it off. Or you can sell it. I'm yeah. Sure. Okay, so next on our list, number six, is a regular brand, and then the brand's a fusion. The brand is Sam. Just S-A-M. S-A-M, S -A -M, period. And then... <laughs> Period. And then their diffusion line is S13, which like the diffusion line is almost expensive as it uses like the same materials and it's like just as expensive. It's like a hundred bucks less. I, I don't, don't really I I don't some diffusion lines are like, like that, like why? with mosquitoes, but this is one where it's like literally almost the price exact. point is it's like laughable exactly the like same. there's no difference which i don't know maybe maybe we <laughs> is that the deciding factor for some people maybe we like don't know enough about s13 maybe it's just like their trendy line like how zara has like oh uh, like trafalic and then woman mm -hmm. maybe but i think it's a diffusion I'm don't almost... quote us on that but it is one of their brands and lines um so kind of like montclair and some of these other brands they do a lot of puffer they do a lot of parkas they have a lot of regular kind of like aesthetic looking just regular puffer coats and then they do some long puffers like the some like style. like those like michael kors like knee length ones yeah they do some of those most of the time they have a hood yeah so um it's very heavy puffer it's like we we wrote down parkas and stuff but it's very, very strongly puffer. Like, I would say 90 to 95% of what they And the they're always, like, they're fun colors. Like, it's not just, like, plain black. They make, like, ones with stars or, like, metallic silver. I almost they're bought They're so one. pretty. I you must, did almost I almost one. bought an S13, um, like, blue, like, metallic puffer. Also, can I just say, Sam and S13 coats. If you don't want to spend the money of, like, Montclair or Canada Goose, which is coming up, Get a Sam. It was so warm. Mm -hmm. like, so no, they're actually really good quality. Warm. Yeah. So they go from about 300 to 700, which, like, obviously, that's not chump change. But, like, compared to, like, Montclair, where you're looking at, like, $1,000. At least. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Minimum. Very cost-effective. Yeah. So if you're looking to invest in some winter attire, I'd probably go with the Sam. Yeah. And I feel like they're cuter. Yeah. And they're you at know? Nordstrom and Saks. Mm -hmm. And actually, S13, I believe, is even at Macy's. Yes. So that's nice. Um, Sam also, I have found them at Sam's stores. They make children's. Mm. So if you ever find a Sam children's coat, and they sell for like $200. Yes. I think, I believe that Sam only makes women's and children's. I do believe. But no men's, but it's a puffer coat. It's a puffer jacket. <laughs> like, who cares? <laughs> Same no one's going to let you be like, take that women's coat off. <laughs> Same with Smith. Fine. Smith mm -hmm. is also a female's. Um, and then yes. I've never had Sam. I haven't either. I've, I've found... seen it a few times at like consignment stores, and it's always... I, out, of, out of the budget. I found it at a Savers once, but it looked like the ash slinging, mash pinging. The sash ringing! The, the, the flash singing! The bash pinging! The hash slinging slasher! The hash slinging slasher had like gashed it. Literally, oh, it, it was, was like, like open. The back like was it like... was hung up on a like meat hook. Like it looked like a lady was murdered. In it. it was kind of yet sad. they still had it priced at, at like thirty fifty dollars. Because you know what Savers is a scam, a sham, skablam, <laughs> a, a terrible business. But that's fine. We're not here. Yeah, to we're not here to diss. Um, <laughs> I would pick one up. I'd probably spend fifty if it didn't have like a gash in the back. Yeah. Um, I think. 
Yeah, if you see it for maybe like 30 or less, it's a safe bet. Make sure it's... But they sell really high because actually really after I saw mm -hmm. the blue one in the store, I went online because I needed a puffer jacket and I was going to order one and I couldn't hardly find a single one under a hundred unless it was like, ugh. So they definitely mm -hmm. hold their value. Yes. I feel like all puffers kind of hold their value they really pretty do. well. Yeah. I will say Sam doesn't get faked. No. So you don't have to worry about like authenticity. Cause it's, it's, obviously there may be like one or two floating around out there, but like for the most part. 99% of them, they're going to so. be real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Up next, number seven is Avec la fille, which also means with the girls. With the girls. <laughs> and Avec la fille makes wools, faux furs, for faux shearlings, and all those fun kind of coats. Again, more close to the Soya Kayo and Senzia Roca, except Avec la fille she is very nice. trendy. Mm -hmm. So they use the same type of looks and materials and whatever, They're but. Fine. They have fun prints, they have fun colors, they're a lot trendier. So of course, because of that, they are sold on like Revolve and Shop Up, but at the same time, they are sold at Nordstrom and Saks. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, they aren't too, 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 too expensive. So they're no. even sold at like Macy's. Yeah. Um, Avec La Fille uh. retails at about 150 to 350. So compared to others on this list, very reasonable. She's a cost effective. Neither of us have ever had a Vec Lefie, no. except I want to have oh, it I because- I was gonna say, we drool over this one coat. <sighs> there was this one coat that I think was trendy with a bunch of bloggers last year. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was like a last star fall. print wool like trench. And it was the most gorgeous coat. It was so cute. Ever. It was I black it. with white stars. I want it. It was so, so pretty. Bad. We'll show you a picture right here. I want it so, so, so bad. So if you have one in like a large or an extra large, let me know. I want it. You call me. <laughs> um, and yeah, neither of us have ever sold it. And it only makes women's clothing because it's with the girls. It's with the girls. With the girls. With the girls. <laughs> okay, so number eight on our list. I feel like we've all kind of heard about this brand for the grapevine. So here we go. It's Canada Goose. They are notorious for two things, the materials and the price point. So they do a lot of puffers, they use a lot of downs, there's a lot of nylon, a lot of parkas, a lot of fur, a lot of fur collars on hoods. Expensive. Mm -hmm. 600 to like $2,500. Crazy. Yeah. But they're 600 is so more for popular. the like, again, vest. like the, the vest or the, yeah. The accessories. Yes. Um, I will say they do make um, like hats and gloves and that kind of thing. And the glove sets are like 150, 200 bucks. Like They're so expensive. Nothing about this brand is inexpensive at all. No. Um, their whole like motif is like survival. Like you can wear a Canada Goose coat in any kind of weather, any kind of whatever. Especially at Mall of America. Mall of America. The Canada which Goose is in store. Minnesota where yeah. obviously we shop and we live. Um, the Canada Goose store that just went in has a like, they have like a cool deep chamber freeze chamber, mm -hmm. and you can go in trying on a coat, and they can like crank it down to like Himalayan mountain level. It goes down to like negative three hundred degrees, <laughs> and you can see mm -hmm. how you feel. It's insane. I want to go in. Ridiculous. We've never been in my to like it. in my little like North Face I and just, see what happens. Just I don't even have enough money to like pretend I can afford to like pretend to go into the Canada Goose store. No. no. Um, so they definitely, definitely, definitely keep their retail value. Yeah. Because they are in this weird niche of, like, it's expensive, but they're also really trendy. Like, and they're really, so like... So many people have They do what they say they do. Oh. It's very high quality. They're not messing around. It's trendy. Mm -hmm. They use extremely expensive material. Like, they check all the boxes. Canada Goose says, I'm not here to play games. Yes. And they will do, do, like, move, camo. Move. They will do yeah, they fun do colors. Have, they just, like, camo one. diverse. Oh, my God. Fun, expensive, trendy, luxurious. Mm -hmm. Love it. Yeah. Um, if you buy one, I will say, be warned, because when was that last year? That people were like, oh my god, like I got robbed and they took my coat. Oh yeah. People would get like They're mugged so and they would take their candy. It's expensive Goose coat. and valuable that people sometimes will steal them off your back. People get like you get mugged and they take your coat. Which is scary. Which like that's like is it worth it? Wild. Maybe. I remember there was a news story. I think it was in Chicago of like that it happened. It was kind of interesting. Um, okay, so they are sold at places like Nordstrom, Shields, which is if you're from the Midwest, like an outdoor kind of like sporting goods store. Gander Mountain. Yeah. Mm. Farm. <laughs> Gander Mountain huh. has them. I Gander believe. Mountain I think. 
Mm -hmm. Higher end outdoorsy. It's kind of like Arcteryx. Yes. Except a step up. <laughs> she says, Arcteryx, I raise you one. Yeah. Um, there are also places that like Nord they're sold at places like Nordstrom, higher end apartment stores, any place that has like a luxury market. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and we have neither, neither of us have ever had one, but no. the thought of someday I can find one puts me to bed at night with a smile on my you face. You know, it really just lulls me to sleep. It really when I go does. off into dreamland, I just enter a thrift store full of Canada Goose jackets. Yeah, and oh my so kind of like Montclair, Canada Goose has a really good, like, I don't know about authentication, but if you, um, like, have one and it's real, you can just send it to them and they clean it. Yeah. And then they send it back. Yes. It's like Patagonia. Yes. Kind of. Yes. Which, um, we love that. We love the sustainability. So I would consider that, like, Montclair and Canada Goose are, like, the titans of the, like, coat oh, like really luxury are. coat you industry you cannot hold a candle to these people. uh they're so comparable like they make the same products basically and they have very similar price points and they both keep their value so well so like they really really do finding either of those is just you're in the money and like i wish so expensive so valuable mm -hmm. even on the resale market just so it just Let's all just like dream of the day that we can find Canada Goose. <laughs> if y'all ever find Canada Goose or Montclair, please tag us on Instagram. <gasps> Send me a video. Oh my gosh. So up next, number nine is a brand called Barbour or Barber. I'm not exactly sure how it's pronounced. I always call it Barbour and I've definitely mm -hmm. heard people say Barber. Mm -hmm. So Barber is Barbour. going back more towards the like utility style jackets, mm -hmm. more like Arcteryx. But it's even more utility than that. It maybe mm -hmm. has more of like a kind of like hunting look to it than Arcteryx. Yeah, I can see that. Um, it's a lot of nylon and cotton and utility styling. They have mm -hmm. a lot of pockets. You usually have like eight or six on the front. Yeah, um, they do have a lot of pockets. They do do some like quilted and down and whatever because I feel like all these jacket brands kind of check you all the boxes. You kind of have to yeah. if you're a coat brand. But it's more the like utility style. Mm -hmm. They're sold at Nordstrom, they're sold at Saks, and these are also sold at Macy's because it's a little bit lower, again, than some of these other ones. They retail at about $200 to $500, and I have had Barber at least two times. Honestly, maybe three or four, and it does actually sell very well. I was going to say, I feel like you sold all yours before. Yeah, I think the Rare World takes it, but I would not send it into them. I find that it does really well yeah. on posh and it is a men's and women's brand mm -hmm. i've had men's and i've had women's. i was gonna say you've had a men's vest that did pretty well both did very good mm -hmm. and they sell for over a hundred bucks yes. for sure so if you find it put it on posh um so my experience is i didn't know they sold clothes oh. i found like a rugby polo of barbore doesn't sell for near as much as the coats but i think it still sells that's my experience people still like want yeah no i it. think i got it's good like 30 40 bucks for it yeah it's like you know Okay, so number 10, our last, last one, our final coat brand is IRO. <laughs> oh, coat brand. I was yeah. like, what did you just say? I don't know if it stands for anything. I don't think it does. Um, so they do a lot with tweeds and leathers. And usually in like a zip up moto style jacket, um, they don't have too much like collar. So it's kind of like, imagine a St. John yeah. style tweed jacket. Very that. Um, they have a lot of, like, biker jackets as well, but I think those are kind of, like, the three main, like, really popular styles that people buy in the IRO yeah. jacket. Um, they do kind of stick to more trendy styles or more trendy, like, colors or, like, um, like with the moto jackets, they have, like, the contrasting, like, hardware to give it, like, a little, like, moto feel. Um, they're sold at really high department stores, Nordstrom, Saks, Neiman's. They're also sold on Shop Up. Because they're a bit trendy. Right? I was gonna say, so, because she's a little more, like, ooh. It's younger. Like it's she it's, is. This it's definitely a little bit. It's more of like a range. Like I feel mm -hmm. like you can be in your twenties and wear it, or you can be in your like forties. Could be like a cool. 50s. But it's not as like mature. No. No. Um, their price point is a little bit kind of like what we've been seeing. They go from two hundred to about eight hundred. Which definitely like, they do extend into the the into leathers the low thousands is where yeah. we get. Yeah. You looking at a little bit of money, but unfortunately, with I would say with IRO. It doesn't keep its resale value it doesn't sell for a ton as much as, as some, some of, of these. the other ones. Like mm -hmm. if you find a coat from IRL that retailed at one thousand two hundred, you still probably have to only like get three or three hundred. Three four hundred bucks out of it. Which is still a lot, so good. Mm -hmm. But it just it doesn't stay like way up. You know, you're not gonna get six, eight hundred bucks yeah, no. for it. I found their jeans a couple of times. Yeah, because actually IRL does make a few they, like, it's like a, it's like a clothing brand. But yeah. They, 
do a lot of jackets too. Mm -hmm. um, their jeans do okay. Completely irrelevant to the topic at hand. I've never <laughs> found one of their coats. I've seen them and their leathers, so soft. Mm -hmm. They have the nicest leather. I've at least had one of their coats. I've maybe had two and mine was like a tweed, of course, mm -hmm. with leather detailing because that's a very signature that's IRO. Very it. And I believe I listed it at about like 340 because it retailed at like a thousand. Mm -hmm. And it was doing good, but I also then sent it to the real real because it just wasn't going fast enough. Yeah. And I'm not a clothing storage. So I sent it off okay. and they mark it up pretty good too. So that they do. Mm -hmm. That's IRL. Okay. Okay. Let's do our closet. The closet. time you've all been waiting for a lot longer this time than usual. Sorry. The closet <laughs> feature. So the random closet that was chosen that by we the should, random generator. That we should have done Saturday, but we're doing today. Again, sorry. <laughs> For the closet highlight this week is Sty underscore Lynn, which is a really cool name. That's it's like first sweet to the point. It's, it's like punchy. It's like Stylin, but it's like in a name <gasps> format. Yeah, it's cool. She's st so her username is STI underscore LIN, and she left a comment Stylin. that said, is Mike part of your half off sale? Because I want him. You cannot have it. <laughs> I don't think we could ship him. I don't think we got a box big enough for him. But she said she has two, I think she said French bulldogs or English oh. bulldogs. And she said she loves pugs. Precious. I also love bulldogs. So I would love to see a picture Frenchy. of your dogs. Stylin. So cute. But we have been taking a peek at her closet, and oh my gosh, she puts us to shame she with some of the shoes. nice things that she has. Mm -hmm. So let's take a peek at, she doesn't have her name on here, but Stylin. Let's take a peek at Stylin's items. And the name on her account is Stylin in Wonderland, which is actually, it plays into something that she does with her pictures. She adds like a personal touch There's by a having of cards. little like a card deck on yeah. ones where she That's wants to fit it in, which is kind of cool. And it kind of creates like, like uniqueness. To it's a brand. It is. Especially because it's only on the first picture, which I don't even want to know how much time that takes. If you got 50 things to list, you probably I know. edit for Oh my gosh, picture. I know. That's devotion. But she also does one of the things where you put like the brand. Which I've seen people do. I've seen people do that. Yeah, that's an interesting thing to do. I know. Um, but she has like Louboutins, she has some bougie Doc stuff. Martins, Hugo Boss, Free People, like Frame. A she gold. got some gold jeans that we talked she about in our bolo. A lambskin leather pair of like Chloe shorts. Stylin, oh literally, God. where are you getting this stuff? You must have <laughs> I a love bougie. the pyrex. I love the pyrex hoodie. <laughs> You must have a bougie, bougie honey hole. She's she really got, does. She's got Ferragamo. She sells Eileen Fisher in lots, which is actually a good idea. That's I've a, never thought of that. That's but a smart idea. I don't have, like, insanely good luck with Eileen Fisher, but I, I never do find, find it. it. So it'd be nice to I never of... find, like, five of the same thing. And if I do, I don't want to keep them for that long. <laughs> she got Old Gringo, which we all know were, was just recently on one of our bolo lists. That's expensive. Old Gringo is amazing. She has Love Moschino, which... Those those Desi Gual shoes are actually kind of cute. They are. Like, low-key. Um, down here, I had seen that she has a pair of Calvin Klein 205 West 39 NYC. That's a bougie picture, though, too. Sneakers? She takes good pictures of her stuff. Which, like, I could only dream of finding that in a thrift <sighs> store. I've never... She also has the cutest Freebird boots I think I've ever seen. Those are really cool. And Freebird has definitely been on a bolo. It is very expensive. a mega bolo. It's still super good and it's mm -hmm. super expensive. And this pair is such a good style. People love a tapestry style. They're shoe. so cute. She's got the pride oh, covers. Oh, covers. Love that. She's got bougie Tory Burch bags. Oh, that's a really cute Tory Burch. I still look. She has like it's blowing my mind. She has crazy, <laughs> new attacks on <laughs> Crazy, crazy things. She got some fun little things in here. Like Moschino. I am having like closet jealousy. And then the Oprah shirt from Reformation. <laughs> Oprah, oh, I love. love. We love to hear it. Yeah. So, anyways, you guys should go check out Sky underscore Lynn's closet. It's an experience. Whether you're going to shop or just admire. It's you like should... walking through Nordstrom. Yes. Honestly. Literally. Mm -hmm. So give her some posh love and just kind of look at her closet and drool over all the things that all of us wish we could be finding, but Stylin is finding. She's taking them. Yes. 
So congrats, Stylin, on your amazing honey hole that you must have. And like we said, feel free to leave your username along with whatever comment you want to say in the comments oh, yes. below, and you will be entered in for next week on Saturday, next week's closet no, this shout week. out. This coming Saturday. Well, like, yeah. <laughs> The, next, this Saturday? Next Saturday. What on Saturday? Yes. This Saturday. This week. Yes. And you can comment <laughs> on the video like two or three days ago, last one's mm -hmm. on Saturday, and get double entry this week because yes. we messed up. We're sorry. <laughs> but thank you guys for not like raking us over the coals for that and for being understanding. Thank you for being understanding. And Much appreciated. Much obliged. Yes. And thank you guys for watching. Let us know if you've had experience with any of these brands and how they've done for you. And if there's any other really amazing co brands that do amazing on Posh that we missed out on. Mm hmm. And feel free to tell us what other fall videos or topics <gasps> you want to see. What kind of fall content below do you in the consume? comments because we're gonna keep this going. And we got a whole nother month coming. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you on Thursday for some more fall fun. Bye. Bye. Bye.